for you. He told me at the house when you left before midnight. Where have you been? I've seen you. Yeah. It's good to have you back. That's great news about the quarantine being lifted. I'll bet Dr. Quartermain will be glad to see you back. down for a cup of coffee. There's still no room service in the hotel. Uh, I'm really sorry I'm going to miss the homecoming scene between you and Alan in the penthouse. I bet it's going to be like the end of a big romantic movie. Leslie. Where have you been since you left the hospital last night? Leslie, been with Monica all this time. Yes, I was. I don't think you do. And I would like to explain before you start okay, visualizing the wrong things. Okay, I think I knew the before I asked the question. I think I've probably known it all night long as I sat here waiting for you. You don't know what happened or why. I don't believe I really want to. I think you have to. Trust in my love for you, Leslie. Well, I don't think I really can discuss this right Look, now. hear me out, please. And I don't think I have to go into everything that happened last night or why I went after her. But I did, and the important thing... Leslie, nothing happened between us. Nothing. Are you telling me you didn't sleep with her? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. 
that's the truth. I believe that. You don't lie to me. I believe that that's the truth. Thank you for that. But I do have one more question. What? Did you want to? Yes, I wanted to very much. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, Rick. I even understand what you're not saying. to discuss this with you now. happiest time I've had in my life since the day I asked you to marry me and you said yes. No. No, wait. Wait, there was... There was one time that was happier for me anyway. Would you like to know when that was? Yeah. That's when I was able to tell you that my... My jealousy for Rick was a thing of the past. It was you that made that possible. It was your love and your devotion that did it. You never gave up on me, Monica. No matter how difficult I made it for you, and God knows I made it difficult for you. You kept on loving me. And for that, I thank you with all my heart. <laughs> don't, don't, Pete. Look, I knew it was going to be an emotional homecoming. I just, I didn't expect quite so many tears. You just, uh... You just have no idea what it was like. Don't think about it. I mean, just being trapped there. With, with just with death, for suffering, and uh, just, not, just not knowing if you were going to make it. Hey, hey, hey. No more. No more. I want you to stop putting it all behind you now. It's over. Well, it's just not... It's not something you're going to forget now. I'll help you. I promise. I know how tough it must have been for you down there. I only wish that I could have been there with you from the very beginning. Oh, I wish you could have been too. But you were always in my thoughts. I was thinking about you all the time. I'd be up in that room alone at night and down here in the morning. And I was thinking about you and I was, I was wondering, is she thinking about me? Always. So you see, we weren't really apart. Take more than an epidemic to separate us, Mrs. Quartermain. Monica? Dad, I thought you, you were asleep. Oh, but I heard voices. Monica's oh, voice. I thought I was dreaming. <laughs> oh, it's good to see you. Well, welcome home, darling. Oh, I missed you so. Glad to be back. Let me look at you. Uh, you're looking very tired. Yes, I know that. But at least I'm back. <laughs> oh, I love you. And I love you. I want you to know that my son was half crazed without you. He was planning on driving down to that hospital and removing you by force if necessary. <laughs> well, at least going to pick you up the second the quarantine was lifted. 
We uh, retired rather early last night, so we didn't hear the news. When did it happen, Monica? Oh, well, it was... Uh, gee, I guess it was about just a little before 12. So you mean you had to stay on after it was all over until someone came on to relieve you? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's what happened. It's a good thing I didn't know that, Dad. I would have really gone crazy. <laughs> what time were you officially relieved? Well, um, just a, a little while ago. And uh, guess who I met in the lobby? First person? Yes? Tracy. Tracy? At this hour? Well, she's up and about early. What's responsible for that, I wonder? I don't know. She said she had a busy day ahead of her. I am so sorry, my darling, that I... I went to bed early and I missed the news about the quarantine being lifted. I wish, I wish that I would have known. I would have gladly come down to that hospital and waited for you all night until you were free to come home with me this morning. Control. Especially when it's a, a happy, wonderful life with an incredible woman. Well said. You always had good judgment and excellent taste, my boy. Thank you. <laughs> And I can tell you that Leslie Weber felt pretty much the same way as I did, being separated from Rick during this emergency. We had a, we had a, some nice talks about our mutual needs down at the center. Oh, I think I, I think I mentioned it to you when I called you tonight. Oh, well, you're probably did. Not that important. No, I'm sure Leslie's as happy as I am this morning. Alan, I think that Monica needs sleep more than anything else right now. No, Edward. No, I'm fine. No, no, no. Dad's right. You really must get some rest, Monica. Look, it's rest enough just being... just being home. <laughs> and hearing voices other than those I've been hearing for the past weeks locked in the hospital. By the way, um, was I jumping the gun assuming that Rick is home with Leslie? I mean, he wasn't one of the people that had to stay on until the relief came later on, did he? Well, I, I really don't know. Uh, Things got so hectic when the quarantine was lifted, I sort of lost track of people. You think he might still be there then? No. Well, I mean, I don't know, but... I mean, he could have uh, left even earlier than I did. I see. Uh, hmm. Much as I hate to say it, I'm scheduled to go down to the center today. Oh, that's still going on? Yes, there are a lot more free examinations to go on until the incubation period for Lassa is over, and that way they'll be sure there won't be any more new outbreaks. Oh, well, you should go. Well, Alan, it seems to me with Monica just home, you could call down there and excuse yourself from duty. I don't need a lot of convincing. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be able to get on without me. I'll call them. Alan, Alan, wait. Believe me, my darling, I'd much rather be here with you. I know. I love you for that. But to think, if every doctor here felt he could stay away from the center just because the quarantine's been lifted, well, you know what would happen. Of course. You're right again, as always. Don't you ever get tired of being right? You give me the proverbial dilemma. I know I should go, but I can't bear leaving you. And two, I, uh, I really am tired. I don't know how I can stay on my feet much longer without falling asleep. So it's good you go. And in the meantime, I'll, I'll get some rest. All right, I will go. But reluctantly. Well, I'm going to take a sedative and go to bed, and hopefully when you get... When you get back, I'll be fit company. I can't imagine you being anything else but fit company, my dear. I love you. Have a good rest. Mm -hmm. uh, anything you need from my bedroom? No, no, I'm all dressed and ready to go. Unless, of course, you want me to take you upstairs and tuck you in. No, no. I'll see you later. Okay. I'll see you later, too. <laughs> 